Hi everybody, Steve Jillen here with a quick sample of what's going to happen at Postapalooza 2012, October 8th and 9th in beautiful Mount Pleasant, Michigan. The conference is being held at the Soaring Eagle Resort and Casino, and this place has tons of things to do in the after-conference hours, including golf, a pool, a spa, plenty of restaurants, and oh yeah, there's a casino. The lineup for Postapalooza this year is a great team. We've got Larry Jordan coming in doing some Final Cut 10 and some premiere uh, training and some other stuff. We've got Alexis Van Herkman coming in doing color correction, the king of color corrections coming to the conference. Our good friend Jem Schofield is going to do a variety of different workshops. We have Joshua Pardon coming in. He's an, a certified After Effects user. He's going to be doing some After Effects sessions. and We have some fun sessions with Photoshop with Brad Richter. We're very excited because we have two different power-ups this year. The first one is the power-up Shoot the Script with Jem Schofield. We're excited about this. Uh, power-ups are two-day workshops before the conference actually starts. And in this one, Jem's going to take you through the entire process of shooting a script, and he's actually bringing with him two Canon C300s. So you're going to get some hands-on experience. Be prepared to do a lot of work in these two days. The other power-up session this year is with Alexis Van Herkman. We're really excited about this. Alexis is going to be doing a two-day power-up on the art of color correction. You surely don't want to miss this one. Besides that, the conference has over 25 different topics this year. Everything from scopes to Final Cut 10 to uh, Premiere to Motion to uh, working in Photoshop, uh, using video in Photoshop, filters in Final Cut 10, After Effects stuff, writing proposals. You can just see there's just a whole bunch of workshops this year for you to choose. We're really excited because this is probably our best selection ever. Even I'm getting in the mix this year because I'm going to be teaching four different Avid workshops. A lot of people are asking about Avid because a lot of people have switched to Avid. And uh, I'm doing one on for Final Cut Pro 7 users that are making the switch. I'm doing one on timeline editing one in color correction, and then a really fun one called Tips and Tricks. What I want to show you today is just give you a sample of what I'm going to go over when I talk about timeline editing. So let's go step over to Avid. So here we are in Avid Media Composer, and I have got three shots of this uh, friend of mine making uh, Valentine Vodka in Ferndale, Michigan. And the client wants to have a shot as this process goes through, have a shot go through the bottom, and then float through the side. So we're just going to play this real quick for you. So it's just getting the feeling of this, uh, this assembly line of making these, um, filling these bottles. So let's go add something to track two. And our first shot will be, let's see what we have here. Let's do this rack focus and we'll add that to track two. So we'll just slice that up there. And this is the shot that we're actually going to float across. So we'll come up here and grab a picture in picture effect. And again, I'm going to go over this material a little bit slower when I actually do the workshop. But actually, let's step in here and let's add a keyframe at the beginning of the shot. And let's say we want the shot to start here. And then let's go to the end of the shot and say the shot wants to end here. In this workshop, uh, the timeline techniques, I'm really just going to focus on what's going on in your actual story. And one of the buttons that I get asked all the time when I do workshops on Avid is, what are these buttons here? Step in and step out. So let's take a quick look at them. Step in and step out means I'm going to step in or unpeel this effect and see the actual original footage. Why is that neat? Well, because I can step in and see the original footage and not only can I see the footage, but I can actually perform and edit inside the footage. So as the footage is floating across the screen, maybe I want to cut to something. Let's do something um, that you can definitely see a difference. So here's a shot of the, of the bar. Let's cut that in. And we'll throw in a dissolve. All right, so all I've got is a shot and it goes to this bar. But what that is, is it's inside the actual effect. So when we step out, which is called nesting, and we play it, you can see. The shot actually changes inside what's called the nest. Kind of cool. And that's kind of the stuff that we're going to go over when we talk about timeline or working in the timeline in Avid Media Composer. So to recap, Postpalooza is coming up October 8th and 9th. I hope to see you there. It's real easy to register. Just go to cleverscope.net. You'll register in less than a minute, and you're going to have a guaranteed good time and a lot to learn over two days. Hope to see you there. Bye.